Hello, my sexy sausages, and welcome back to another video. Now, what if I told you I was aware that you could actually download Shader Soul, and it only took a couple of minutes? Well, there is, and all you need to do is follow these steps, and once you know them, you'll most likely never need to watch a Shader's video again. So, firstly, before anything does happen, what you need to do is come over to your Minecraft launcher. In here, make sure you go to Installations, click New Installation. Right here, make sure you go to the version, and click 1.18. Name it what you like, I'm going to go call mine Orwus. Awesome. Called awesome. Just like that. Click create. And then guys, now what you want to do is go ahead and click play. Go down here and find the one that you just did. My one was called awesome, so I'm just gonna go go ahead and click that one. Make sure it is 1.18. Click it. Now guys, click play. Right, so guys, now that your Minecraft is in fact open, what you need to do is actually Go ahead and click quit game. This is all for good reason guys, do not worry. So now then guys, now that your Minecraft is shut down, all you want to do is go ahead and open up your favorite browser. Of the fine is that one thing that makes your game run better, apparently. But it also allows for better graphics, and in that category it also allows for shaders. Now if you're using T-Launcher, just follow what I do and you do not use the ones on T-Launcher. I know they have some supplied, just do not use them because they've never worked for me. They may work for you, and if they, in that case you're lucky. Now then guys, what you want to do is go ahead and search up Optifine. Optifine in Google or wherever you want. It doesn't matter which like you don't have to put a uh, Version after it just click the first link that's here And so guys you're gonna go ahead and get a lot of different things here Just ignore all of this and just come up here to where it says downloads inside of downloads You're gonna go ahead and see this usually all you want to do is you're gonna see this Minecraft 1.8 Go click preview versions and go ahead and click the pre 6 or whichever one you have click the mirror Do not click the download right and so just click download So now then guys It's gonna ask you to where you want to save it on the left here. Just go ahead and click desktop and then click save wait for it to save here guys It's gonna take a little while because um <clears throat> Right, so guys, now that it is downloaded, all you want to do is double click it. It's going to start up, and so guys, you're going to go ahead and see this. Just click install. For those of you that this does not actually work, and when you double click it, it just says like which application you want to use, it means you need to go ahead and download Java. Now then, guys, what you want to do is come back to your Minecraft launcher. Go ahead and close it. Now then, guys, go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. And so guys, inside of here, once you have got the actual Minecraft launcher, just go to installations, go to new installation, go to latest release, or just say like version over here, and you see it right here, 1.18 Optifine. Click it. What you want to do is go ahead and type in 1.8 or whatever you want to name it. Opti. Optif. That's what mine's going to be called. Now then, guys, what you want to do is... You're going to need to download your shaders. Now, guys, do not worry. There are some amazing shaders out there. But there is one shader pack that I really, really like. Now, guys, this one here is called the Slitter... Sil... Sil... Slit... Sil... 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 Hold on. Slitters shader pack silders silders a shader pack okay so guys this link will be in the description do not worry about that what you want to do now is to scroll down to the bottom until you find the one that you are looking for so now guys as you can see we've got the latest release in december you guys are going to need to choose the one that you want now guys i i want the big 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 sausage we want to go for the silders vibrant shaders vision um, 1.31 extreme volumetric lighting oh yes oh yes definitely what you want to do is go for download you guys can choose any of the others i mean there are different ones depending on which ones you want but guys once it uh, does direct you to this page here all you have to do is wait five seconds once it has once you've done that click skip and so guys it's going to take you over to here what you want to do now is just go ahead and click download file wait another five seconds and it should download wherever it saves and make sure you put it on to your desktop so guys what you want to do is go ahead and paste it onto your desktop this is it's going to be inside of a winrar or zip file do not worry about that all you want to do now is go ahead and start up your minecraft go ahead and click um my one was called the uh, what did i name mine i named mine the 18 optif that is beautiful just go ahead and click play so guys now it is starting up guys as you can see 1.18 modded now this does mean that it is beautiful but guys we are not quite there yet as you can see the world is beautiful but it's not quite how we'd like it and it's going to prove to you one little thing like for example if we go into a nice little survival world and let's go for like test all right now this is going into a world creation okay do not worry guys let's so make it full screen so it's beautiful all right wait wait one second and it's going to load it up for you guys you can make it look so so much better what you want to do now is go ahead and click exit Go, well, like, you know, go to the pause, go to options, go to video settings. In here you shall see shaders. 
Now guys, wait, we're not quite done yet. What you have to do is go and have and click Shaders Folder. So now then guys, this is going to bring up your Shader Packs folder for your Minecraft. Remember guys, we need we saved our shaders to the desktop or wherever you saved yours. Click it. Now guys, mine is inside my folder right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click, uh, click Copy. Right click, Copy. And now then guys, if you do not know how to get back, just go to this little arrow up here. Go back, back, and then guys, we're in Shader Packs. So right click and Paste. Now then guys, you got this Shader Packs right here and you decide, as you can see, it has just added up right here. We can now click X here and click here. Right, so guys, now after the little animation is gone, what you want to do is now go ahead and click Shader Options. You've got all these different things in here now, guys. Guys, 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 guys. There's even Motion Blur. Motion Blur on, yes. Strength high because yes. Okay. Now it's like real life. Waving objects, okay. Animation speed, how fast can we make this? We can make it t two. Okay. Ye Waves amplitude? Okay. Don't know what that is, but let's have a look. Okay. Okay. What was what was waves amplitude amplitude? Oh my god, things are moving very quickly. 